welcome back or hello if you're new to the channel we have some news concerned ape tweeted this week that 1.6 update for stardew valley pc and mobile is being worked on to be released i suspect that it had already been worked on before too so i don't think it's that far off but more on that later so in this video, we are going to go over all the past tweets and announcements about 1.6, the content most likely to appear in the update, discussion on 1.7, and beyond. Let's go. By the way, I will be obsessively watching for new information and updates and any hints that we get. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so if you want to keep up with everything Stardew Valley related. So let's talk about this tweet and what we recently just got. So it basically says, as we knew before, that it is mostly an update for the modders, but there is going to be some new content as well. We already knew that it was going to be a modder focused update, but if you are not a modder and don't play with mods, there will be some new stuff for you too. He confirmed there will be new in-game content. He does mention that it will be less than the 1.5 update, but if you remember the 1.5 update, you can remember there was three minor NPCs, one major NPC, a new island, a second farmhouse, nine new enemies, a new obelisk, new quests, 100% completion added, crops, trees, crafting components, you get the idea. What I'm trying to say is anything will be less than that because that's such a huge update. So I feel that we will likely get some cool new stuff with this update. My biggest speculation from my last video on the 1.6 update is that we will get an avocado tree and a passion fruit tree or vine because they were part of a poll back before 1.5 was ever released, as well as the banana and mango tree. Concerned Ape also mentions that he is taking a break from Haunted Chocolatier, and if you're curious about his new game, I literally just made a video on that. I'll link it in the description and at the end of the video if you want to check it out. I have also included some screenshots of tweets where he hints little teasers and the general forward outlook on the game. In this tweet, somebody asked, do you have any new content updates planned for Stardew Valley? And Concerned Ape did say that there will be some new content in the game. He also mentioned that tiger slimes are his favorite slime because they're so unique and then he wonders what other slimes could be in Stardew Valley so maybe we'll get another kind of slime as well. In another tweet somebody asked will there be any new characters, areas, story elements, crops, items, tools and Concerned Ape replied that there may be but it is unlikely that there will be any future updates as big as the 1.5 update was. Now, I think this means two things, that he is always looking to add new things to the game and he really enjoys adding new features, but he doesn't like to get people's expectations up. All of his tweets, updates, announcements are very methodical, which we're gonna talk about a little bit more later, that he doesn't like to overcommit, but I think he just doesn't want people to think that we'll ever get something as big as the 1.5 update in case we don't, which is very fair. Now let's talk about what content is most likely for 1.6. Something I thought of while making this video is that the actual most likely content will expand on what we got in 1.5. If we take any hints from the past updates, once an idea or new mechanic or item set comes into Stardew, he tends to expand on it. So that could mean there will be new items that use cinder shards or a dragon tooth as one of the crafting components, new items for trade at the island trader kiosk, new Mr. QI quests, maybe a new type of resin from the mahogany tree, perhaps something else to do in the pirate cave. The possibilities are endless, but I do think the new content will definitely expand or focus on the newest things that we have in the game. However, there could also be new crops, crafting, artisan goods that are based on the older parts of the game. We just don't know yet. I have a feeling there will also be some balance changes because I think Concerned Ape loves to pay attention to longtime fans as well as new players. So usually when a balance change for item prices or sell prices, profit margins, things like that happen, it creates new avenues and strategies for new playthroughs. So let's stay tuned for that as well. As for a 1.7 update, this person here asked, will Stardew get more future updates like 1.6 and 1.7? 
1.6 yes has already been confirmed and then he goes on to say 1.7 who knows? So that might not seem significant, but as I mentioned before, Concerned Ape does not like to overpromise or mention things that are not going to happen. Anytime somebody is asked about something that he knows for sure will not happen, he shuts it down right away and does not play along as if like maybe it will happen. He's very clear about his intentions. So I think by him even saying 1.7 is a possibility, I think we eventually will get it. And this is not the only time he's mentioned 1.7. When he talked about 1.5 mobile being released where they basically had to remake the entire code of the game, he said that it will make it much easier to do 1.6 update and who knows, aka 1.7. So that's two different confirmations that it's basically on the table and also in another really interesting interview that Concerned Ape did at the beginning of this year 2023 he also said that he loves Stardew Valley and as long as people are as enthusiastic about it as him he will consider making new content and I think he has proven time and time again that he does not care about money he just loves what he does and wants to make a quality product and keep making that product better and better. Will there be updates beyond 1.7? So here's where I'm not sure. I think there will be a 1.7 update in some capacity, but will there be 1.8, 1.9? We just don't know yet, but I could see it. The only thing that kind of is interesting is we already have a perfection score. So either he has plans to update the perfection, um, maybe once you've achieved it, you will have it forever but maybe if you haven't he will update it so there's a little bit more to get there or maybe he'll have like a double perfection you just never know but because there is perfection it makes the game seem very complete so i don't think there's going to be anything that is majorly drastically going to change in the game but again he truly keeps surprising us so we never know I am so excited for this 1.6 update. I literally cannot wait. Let me know in the comments what you think will be in the 1.6 update. And while you're waiting, check out my Haunted Chocolatier news video that I just made and a video I made a while ago about all my speculations for 1.6 content. We're also so close to a thousand subscribers, so please like and subscribe and we'll see you at the next video.